So in this video, we're going to look at masking. Traditionally, this would be done inside of Resolve, either through polygons on the Fusion page and rotoscoping or using the magic mask on the color tab. However, I think I've found a way of doing it a little bit quicker. We're going to be using a website called Runway. So let's get into it. So this is the runway welcome screen, if you like. Just to point out, if you're on Mac, this won't run in Safari. Don't know why, but it won't. So you need to get uh, the Chrome browser and it works in Chrome. I don't know if that's the case for Internet Explorer stroke Edge, whatever it's called nowadays, because I don't have a Windows machine, so I don't know. Certainly on a Mac, you need a Chrome browser. Just to point out at this stage, I am in no way connected to Runway. Runway don't even know I exist. Uh, it's just a tool that I found that I think would be useful for Resolve users, especially the free Resolve users who don't have access to Magic Mask. Um, it saves a lot of time in sort of masking and rotoscoping. I think it does, for me personally, does a better job than Magic Mask and does it a damn sight quicker. You can use this system for free or you can elect to take a subscription and get more features. The point, I guess, of the video is that you can do a really good job in the free version. So I'm going to log in. So when you log in, you come to your sort of projects page. This is a couple of things I was messing about with previously come to create new project we do a composition and you drag the footage that you want to mask onto the timeline effectively so we've got this girl running and I want to take her out of the scene and just keep the girl now I could rotoscope it if I had a couple of days to spare, I have studio version of Resolve, so I could magic mask it, but I don't find it particularly good personally. Could just be me using it wrong, of course, but it's not great and it takes time and it takes a fairly beefy computer. This method takes neither. It's not done on your computer. It's done on Runway's own system. So they're carrying the work. So what you're about to see, hopefully, is happening in real time. I'm going to try and avoid editing it if I can. Obviously, if I burp or cough or whatever, I'll take that out. But otherwise, we're pretty much working in real time. So you've got your footage into your project. Come to where it says Magic Tools and select Green Screen. And it's simply a matter of clicking a few points and you have the start of your mask. You can add a couple more points to sort of fill in any gaps and then you can hit preview. And as you can see, that's done a fairly good job of masking her. All you would do then is step back or step through frame by frame and fill in the gaps. So her shoe. As you fill in the gaps, you get little keyframe markers down the bottom to show that you've made some changes there. And if you have these sort of keyframes, it starts to fill in the gaps between as well. So if you now step through that, where you had smaller gaps before they've been caught.
and you're basically stepping through and just looking for either gaps so there's a little gap just up by her shoulder where you're going to struggle is with her hair but to be fair if you're rotoscoping or using the magic mask it also struggles with things like hair especially hair like this where it's sort of flapping around all over the shop and we're just working backwards frame at a time and looking for things that aren't quite working and so you can sort of touch up on our hair a bit at various points And again, you can come back and preview it and just let it run through. And I think for like two minutes work, that is not a bad mask. So once you've got your mask in place, You can then start the composite so you can open your assets, you can bring in another image or a background or something. And away you go. You've got a nicely sort of um, masked figure. What you can also do is you can export that. And the free version, you're limited to 720p. If you want to pay, you can go up. Um, if you export your video, I think that's going to export with a black background, but you can set it up to have a green screen. Um, I'm just trying to remember how I did it. So you can see here it's exporting our clip. I think if you select when you, you do a new project, if you select green screen, it will automatically put it onto a green screen for you, which you can then bring into Resolve and just key out the green. And no, it's not a perfect mask, but as I say, for like two or three minutes work, I think it's damned impressive. And they even send you a little email to tell you when your export is ready. So where's my export gone? There, that one. We can now select that and download it, I think. So we've got our um, green screened or black screened or whatever click your three dots, click download, and away you go. You've now got your clip ready to go into Resolve. Just as a curiosity, I know some of my subscribers or followers have come via the Anime AMV editing community, and I was just wondered if I could do it on an AMV image. So I've got this little clip that I used for one of my tutorials. And in that tutorial, I had to mask the character out. And it took me quite a while. It's a very basic sort of animation. There's not much movement in it at all, but it took me a while to do. So I thought I'd see if I could do it in here. And surprisingly, you need to be making a few more points than with a real person. 
and you need to do some excluding so I've got her mass so I need to exclude these bits on the rock so just come up to the the right of the screen hit exclude and then pick the areas that you don't want included and then just fill in the patches a little bit and that is done So whatever's the green area is what you will see. So again, if you come to the right, you can change it from overlay to preview. And you've got this really clean mask. And it took me like 30 seconds. It's amazing. I love it. So yeah, we can now export these. Oh, that's where my green screen came from last time. You can just export it and pick your background colour. So again, if you go back to your assets, you'll see that it's calculating and getting it ready for export. And once that's done, you'll get a little email to say that it's done if it's a particularly long clip and you don't want to sit waiting for it. And there you go, it's ready, download. So here we are in Fusion. I've brought the two clips that I just made in. Drop them on the timeline. And then it's just a case of popping into Fusion and adding a key of some description for this one. To get rid of the black, I'll use a Luma key. And away you go. And equally for this one, Delta key, you could use the 3D key on the edit tab for that. Just I'm not a fan of it, so I don't think it works particularly well. But we'll have a go. Because this is such a, a sort of uniform green, it may well work better. I don't know, but we'll try it. Come to your effects, turn on your open effects overlay and drag. And there you go. As I say, it, I always find it fringes a bit. Um, and yes, you can sort of mess with it to clean it up. I just think the Delta Key Infusion page works better. But anyway, you get the idea. You've keyed them both out and then you can chuck them onto whatever you want for the sake of something to have underneath them. And there you go, you've got your keyed out images. So yeah, hope that helps. I uh, hope you find it useful. I'll leave links in the description to the uh, runway website and also to the runway youtube channel so you can check out their stuff um thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one